Dollarization, also known as currency substitution, refers to the widespread use of a foreign currency, particularly the United States dollar, alongside or instead of the domestic currency in a country. In a dollarized economy, individuals, businesses, and sometimes even the government conduct transactions, set prices, and hold assets in the foreign currency, usually the US dollar. Dollarization can occur officially or unofficially and can have significant effects on a country's economy. Types of Dollarization Official Dollarization Official dollarization occurs when a country formally adopts a foreign currency, usually the US dollar, as its official legal tender, replacing or supplementing the domestic currency. In these cases, the government may use the foreign currency for its transactions and may not issue its own currency. Unofficial Dollarization Unofficial dollarization, also known as de facto dollarization, occurs when foreign currencies are widely used alongside the domestic currency without formal government adoption. People choose to use a foreign currency due to factors such as stability, confidence, or a lack of faith in the domestic currency. Effects of dollarization on countries' economies. Exchange rate stability. Dollarization can bring greater stability to the exchange rate since the value of the domestic currency becomes directly tied to the value of the US dollar. This stability can be attractive to businesses and investors. Inflation control. Adopting a stable foreign currency can help control inflation, especially if the domestic currency had a history of rapid depreciation. The foreign currency is often seen as a store of value and a hedge against inflation. Interest rates and monetary policy. In dollarized economies, the ability of a central bank to conduct an independent monetary policy is limited. Interest rates are often influenced by the U.S. Federal Reserve, and the country loses control over its money supply. Transaction costs. Dollarization can reduce transaction costs associated with exchange rate fluctuations. Businesses and individuals do not need to incur costs associated with currency conversion, as transactions are conducted in a single currency. Increased confidence. Dollarization may boost confidence in the stability of the monetary system, attracting foreign investment and reducing the risk premium associated with the domestic currency. Financial integration. Dollarization can lead to increased financial integration with international markets. It may facilitate access to global financial services and make it easier for the country to participate in international trade and investment. Loss of seniorage. Seniorage is the profit made by the government when it issues currency. In a dollarized economy, the country loses the ability to earn seniorage because it no longer issues its own currency. Vulnerability to external shocks. Dollarized economies can be more vulnerable to external economic shocks, as they may have limited control over their monetary policy. The country cannot use currency devaluation as a tool to boost exports or adjust to economic downturns. Income inequality. Dollarization can lead to income inequality, as those who have access to US dollars may benefit more than those who rely on the domestic currency. This can create a dual economy with disparities in wealth and purchasing power. Social and political implications. Dollarization can have social and political implications, as it may be perceived as a loss of national sovereignty. Public sentiment and political reactions to dollarization can vary. It's important to note that the effects of dollarization can vary depending on the specific circumstances of each country. While some countries may experience benefits such as increased stability and reduced inflation, others may face challenges associated with loss of control over monetary policy and vulnerability to external economic conditions. Policymakers in dollarized economies must carefully consider the trade-offs and potential consequences of adopting a foreign currency as the primary medium of exchange.